Good morning, good morning. So today is Tuesday, August 21st, 2012, and I just finished day 59 of my little Shaleen party. Um, so I'm trying to get caught up from last week because um, I missed a few of the workouts from the last week of um, my Shaleen Extreme. Um, so I'm trying to get caught up on those, and um, I will finish that out this week. Um, and then I'm probably going to take a few days off of Shalene Extreme and just go into next Monday starting the lean phase, the final phase of it. Um, that way I just start fresh on Monday and um, I feel better about that. Uh, I will continue to do my turbo fire um, and continue that through the weekend. Um, but anyway, so today's workout I did um, burn it off and recharge. It for, from Shaleen Extreme. Um, so that's Burn It Off is the cardio and basically what you do is um, you go through five simple moves um, and they're, they're pretty simple pretty basic uh, cardio moves um, and you get through those and then you take a one minute break and then you go through six more um, and they're all basic just very very basic simple moves but they do it, it they do work you out. It's a pretty short workout. It's about 20 five, 26 minutes. Um, and then you go into doing recharge, which is the, um, stretching yoga esque, um, Tai Chi moves kind of thing, um, workout. And because all of the beach body programs have their stretching cause it is very important. Um, so I got the, those two done. And then I also did turbo fire, um, hit 15, which I haven't done a good hit workout in a very long time, it seems like, um, because I was trying to keep it low impact. And for me, I just don't feel like I get the workout if I keep it low impact. So I stepped it up back up today and um, I did hit 15, which is a short one, but I gave it everything I had. And after doing the other cardio, um, I got my I got my sweat on. Um, <laughs> so I feel good um, and I'm ready to get going for today. I've got a, another busy day. My littlest starts soccer for the first time, so I'm kind of excited to see how that goes. She's excited. Um, but I did want to talk to you about something today. Um, having done recharge, it kind of jogged my memory. Um, yesterday I had a conversation with a friend of mine about, um, she's been doing yoga for years and taking yoga classes. And one of the things that she mentioned is that, um, they never really, they try to, the, the, the teachers in yoga classes tend to try to get you through the moves, but they don't necessarily how to show you how to do them the most efficiently or effectively. And she started reading some yoga books and she figured out one of the things that she was doing wrong, that she'd been doing wrong all this time, was um, she was just trying very hard to, let's say, touch her nose to her knees and not taking into consideration the flat back. And so she got down there with a curved back, but that doesn't give you the most effective stretch. So she learned that reading books. And I said, well, you know what? Shalene teaches that too. So um, that's one of the things I do want to talk to you about because Shalene does talk about that a lot in her videos, and that is the flat back. So when you're bending, when you're stretching and that kind of thing, um, the most effective way to get, let's say you're trying to stretch your hamstrings, and you're, and you're stretching forward to do that, the most effective way to do that is maybe not to go down as far. Um, maybe you can't touch the ground and that's okay as long as you're doing it with a flat back and you're gonna feel it a lot more when you do that. And I notice that too, so I'm very conscious of it. Um, so I wanna show you what I mean. All right, so when you're bending over, you know, okay, I'm bending over. I can bend down and touch my toes, but if you look at me from the side, my back is arched, okay? So now if I keep a flat back, what that means is I've got my butt sticking out, okay? And I'm going down like this, and I'm going down, I'm going down, I'm going down. That's as far as I can get, and I'm feeling that big time in my hamstrings. But that's a much more, it's doing a lot more good. Because um, if I'm going down like this and I'm not feeling it, it's not doing me any good to waste my time to do it. So when you're doing those moves, another one um, is a straddle stretch or the fan, where you're going down. If you keep a flat back, I'm feeling it right there, okay? Because um, I do have kind of tight hamstrings. But if I'm, let's say, bend, bending, curving my back, I can go down to there, and I'm not feeling it. So I may look more flexible, but it's not doing me any good. It's not stretching the muscles I need it to stretch. 
So that's all I have for you today. Um, this is a long one telling you nothing. Um, I'll get back into more videos, more effective. But anyway, the stretching is important. Doing it effectively is important. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you've had a wonderful couple weeks. I know I haven't been on here for a while. So um, I will be checking back in here more frequently. Uh, take care and have a wonderful, happy Tuesday. Mwah. Bye.